This is Alpha Team. Commencing. Open fire. What's, what's going on here? So I am, of course, with a great guest that I have been raving about since morning. And I have decided to go live on Facebook so that you can join in on the conversation, comment in the comment section and let us know where you're watching us from and what you think about today's conversation. So if you're on Facebook, hello to you. Comment in the comment section. Let us know where you're watching us from. Tag someone who needs to hear this topic my job here today is to help equip us for the mission that we are called to do by god and uh, really today we are looking at uh, humility and honor in the workplace what does that look like what does it look like when you have to give honor to someone who's difficult romans in the book of romans we read um, a scripture where god is instructing us to give honor to authority figures because he puts people in authority so what does that look like for you on a day-to-day -day basis are you working with difficult people we all work with difficult people but what does it look like for us to give those people honor what does it look like for us to be humble work with other people yes you're the most talented person in the room yes you are the one who has discovered how gifted they are and how to use those giftings to you know work to your favor but does that mean that um you are also a humble person so we want to have that conversation and i couldn't think of a better person to have this conversation with than my guest chuma piri who is joining me right now uh, right here on The Breakfast. Chuma, good morning. Good morning to you, fam. How are you doing? I am nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you nervous. Oh, no man, way. believe it or not. Believe it or not. I, I am nervous, but I'm good. I'm good. You're good. You look good. You Thank look you. You look very good. Thank you. I had to look good for Jesus. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yes. I like that. Yeah. Okay, can I just say I'm the one who feels very nervous because Chuma is not just my friend. He's also like uh, a mentor to say so to the speak pressure, bro. a the mentor pressure. like chuma is the the one guy who um recommended me for a particular radio station and said you need to put this girl on radio you need to put this girl on radio and if i'm not mistaken even radio christian voice they called you and you were like you need to put vagizai on radio yeah and i mean i mean look at you now look at you i, I knew this was perfect for you Thank you so You're much. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, no, it's pressure because I feel like my teacher is in the room and is checking everything. Are you doing everything right? And then yeah, so after, you, so after you, the so show. So the, the, mic, the mic level is too low for you. But it's just, it's, I'm joking. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I was already panicking. <laughs> I'm joking, man. I'm joking. So Chuma, for those of you who don't know Chuma, Chuma is currently with Phoenix FM, but we're publicly announcing that Phoenix, we have taken. Chuma. <laughs> we have taken Chuma. <laughs> Amen. God has spoken. <laughs> so Chuma works right now with Phoenix FM, but he has worked with so many media houses. And um, I think I remember watching him on Channel O as a kid growing oh, yeah. up. Yeah, he yeah. was a presenter for Channel O for a long time. You also worked with Africa Magic? Yes, I did. I did uh, Good Morning Africa. So it was the breakfast show for the whole continent. Yeah. So you're not just a media personality. You're like international status. Oh, uh, thank you. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll please take do. That. Yeah, please I'll take do. It. I'll take it. <laughs> and so you've worked with a lot of different types of organizations. Would you say that the media industry in South Africa is different from the media industry here in Zambia? Yeah, I mean, to totally. I mean, we are, um, Zambia is, we're still a fresh market. Mm -hmm. We're still growing. Um, I think, I always say we're 10 years behind. Mm -hmm. And so for some folks, they might look at that as a bad thing. It's okay. not. It's not a bad thing. Uh, I think we need to find our own rhythm. Uh, we should be on our working on our own pace, so we should not rush. So we have ten years to catch up, and we can catch up real quick. Uh, South Africa is, if not in Africa, number one. Uh, but there's there's always this fight between South Africa and Nigeria. But mm. yeah, South Africa is more advanced. It's it's like Hollywood, man. Really? Yeah, the media industry there is totally different. It's, I think it's at par or almost with Hollywood. And what do you think we need to do in Zambia to catch up? Um, I think we just need to figure ourselves out, man. I think we're doing a really good job. It's I think just, so too. Yeah, just... we, we, we are just slow. Okay. At, at doing things. But then also I think in, in our slowness, we're perfecting 
our craft right. and we're slowly building our industry mm. i mean 10 years back uh, before i left um i hear ideas we used to pitch at corporates mm. happening now back then when you go to a corporate and say this is what i want to do on radio mm. and they'll look at you like how oh, you're just a dj dude <laughs> why will we be doing why this? are we going to put money on you you're just the dj you yeah. just just we'll wait for you to go to the club dj for us and that's it <laughs> i'm like no it's 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 for your brand you can do a whole campaign on radio it's interactive radio mm. can do this for your brand they never used to get it but now i see a lot of folks do that i mean even yeah. with social media influencers yeah. uh, back then we were ambassadors oh yes, yes. now we're influencers now you're influencers yeah. so it's it's it in our slowness mm -hmm. we're also perfecting and building our industry so we should take our time we shouldn't rush yeah would you say that um right now the corporate industry um what do you think they need to do in order to catch up to the south african corporate industry because i i do know that in south africa media is a big deal yeah even for corporate yeah so what do the corporate what does the corporate industry in zambia need to do to catch up release the money <laughs> okay release, release the, money. the money it yeah. is not cheap to have fungisai talk about your brand every morning for five days for 10 <laughs> minutes it is not cheap yeah <laughs> you have to spend fungisai commands uh, an audience of this magnitude so it is not cheap release the money <laughs> release the money That's i all. like that i like that so if you're in the corporate industry and you're listening release the release money, the money. <laughs> <laughs> okay so back to our topic today we are looking at uh humility and wholeness and i know that because of the many um people that you've worked with and many organizations you've worked for the many radio stations the many tv stations you've worked with you've worked with a lot of different kinds of people mm -hmm. How have you been able to maintain humility in those spaces? Because um, I, I would like to think that you walk into the room and you're probably the most experienced person in the room. You might not take credit for that, but on paper, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Most of the time when you are in a place, you are either the most experienced, you are the most exposed. What does that look like for you when you walk into a room and how do you maintain a humble spirit? sure like um even just breaking down what humility is mm -hmm. you know a humble spirit it's something i struggle with um every day it's a it's a learning process uh, getting better at it mm -hmm. uh, already when you walk into a space like you mentioned um i might have the most experience i might be the most exposed that's already intimidating to some people yeah absolutely um so the finding that balance um is is really tricky but then also one thing i was taught when i was when i moved to south africa and i was being trained to do tv because that was my first experience yeah. uh, on tv the one thing that they taught me was how you relate with your workmates mm -hmm. how you work with other people mm -hmm. is what's going to take you far not just your talent wow it's how you work with other people so mm -hmm. you might be the most talented mm -hmm. but if you have a bad attitude yeah if you can't work with people mm -hmm. even how you talk to the lady that makes coffee for yes. you how you relate with that person mm -hmm. is what's going to take you far because you don't know who the lady is who's making coffee absolutely she might be the boss's niece mm -hmm. and she's interning and if you are you have a bad attitude she just go and tell her uncle ah that guy not no not that one not that one wow. but if you if you relate very well with people you mm -hmm. you 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 speak to them on their level mm. no matter how knowledgeable how exposed you are mm. do not do not talk down on people mm. do not look down on people uh, i i we were talking about this last night with uh, my partner mm. um about being humble so i asked her was jesus humble <laughs> And what did she say? Uh, she then she stopped for a while and thought about it. It's like, hmm. I'm like, yeah, if 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 we're supposed to live live according to how Jesus lived. He was. Was he humble? Mm. I'm asking you, was he humble? He was. This is a man who told his dad off. <laughs> this is a man who walked in church and whipped he, people. He was he was also God. So he's the most he exposed, he's the most knowledgeable. Yes. 
Yes. So when it's time for you to show people that, listen, I am, some people will think that's arrogance, mm. but I'm still humble. Yeah. It's just sometimes you need to, I know this, I know this will work. Let's try it my way. Yes, I hear you. And you, and you have to go there, ne? You have to go there because you're like, mm, I wonder if I can answer this. <laughs> 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 okay, so um, we, we were talking about humility, but also I think one of the most important things when it comes to working with people is honor, yeah. right? And uh, I'm sure that you have worked with a lot of difficult people, yeah. um, as does everyone out there. I might know? be the difficult one. Who you knows? might be the difficult yeah. one, right? But what does it look like? Like for you to honor a difficult person? Um, I think it's uh, respect, though. Mm. Um, you have been given the, the, the title and the power to host the breakfast show. Mm -hmm. I need to be able to trust you. Mm -hmm. Right? I need to be able to respect that Fungisai is in charge here. This is their position. Um, I should figure out a way to talk to you, to work with you, no matter how difficult you are, I should be able to communicate mm -hmm. that uh, I didn't like how you spoke to me. Um, this attitude that you have of difficultness mm -hmm. might not take as far because at yeah. the end of the day, we're all here to build this, right? Mm -hmm. This institution that we work for. Right. You're the boss. You've trusted me with this responsibility. Mm -hmm. I, I need you to trust me. Mm. But if I see you're the difficult one, I should be able to figure out a way of talking to you without disrespecting you. Right. I still have to honor you. You're my boss. Yeah. No absolutely. matter how difficult you are, you're my boss. But I should be able to to be to to communicate to you and say, listen, I did not like how you talked to me there. Mm. It's it's killing my morale. Mm. I will not be able to deliver the way you want me to deliver. Right. If right. you continue talking to me like this, mm. I think there's a better way you can say that mm -hmm. without making him feel like I'm disrespecting him or uh, uh, disregarding his position as my boss. Yeah, it's difficult, mm -hmm. but it has to be done. Um, it has to. I like that. Um, we do have a couple of comments here uh, on Facebook and uh, on WhatsApp. If you want to be part of the conversation, send us a text message, a voice note, or a WhatsApp to 0956 200 490. The number to call, text, or send a voice note to is 0956 200 490. Okay, so Kango here says, to honor someone difficult... Or with whom I disagree, I strive to show respect, listen attentively, seek common ground, and yeah. maintain a gracious attitude despite differences, acknowledging their inherent worth. Yeah. I love that. I really, really love that. This is someone I think who's in Malawi. And then we have Victor here who says, We do honor them because scripture says so, right? Yeah, so there's. The fact that scripture says so, yep. but there's the reality that it's not easy, yeah. right? So on the disagreeing part, it is a call for prayer, which which is very true. Like if it's if it's if if you are struggling to honor someone, I think one of the best ways that you can deal with that is through prayer. We pray for those in authority so we may have peace and God to lead and guide them, right? And then we have Adu here. Andrew says, for Christians, uh, there's no option but to obey the word of God. It's interesting because uh, Romans does say that God is the one who puts people in authority positions, in positions of authority. And if we disrespect them, then ultimately we're disrespecting him, him yeah. because he put them in that position. Right. Yeah. So uh, another question that I want to ask you is um, you've worked with so many different kinds of people so many different kinds of teams you've helped build teams right mm -hmm. what does it look like for you to teach your, your like teams humility and honor how do you do that in a setting with people with different personalities yeah you and that's... different beliefs beliefs yeah. yeah um it's 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 tough you know um especially we have different beliefs uh, adding the personalities there just makes it even worse. It's tough, but if the common goal is to build this team to achieve this, mm -hmm. whatever uh, you want to achieve with this team, that's the common goal. So getting everybody on the same page um, and especially having worked in media, I'll, I'll speak in my space. 
mm-hmm. because that's what I understand the most. Yeah. Media. Mm-hmm. I've seen people come and go. Yeah. Because you think you know it all. Mm. Because you think you're better than everybody. Yeah. Because you you have the most followers. You have the most um, autographs. Back then, those autographs. I don't know if they still do that. <laughs> I think now autographs are likes. Yeah. Yeah, because you have the most likes, you know, you get the most endorsements. Mm. And then you think everybody else is beneath you, so you need to address them a certain way. Mm. I've seen people come and go. Um so sh- I I the one advantage I have is I like to share my experience. Mm-hmm. Um what I have seen, what I've gone through. And I've been fortunate enough for me it's i have gone through these things yeah so i'm not just talking because i've heard a story or i've read about it mm-hmm. i've ha- I've actually experienced, experienced these things mm. so i always say first of all this is a job yeah honor it mm-hmm. god has given you a job yeah there's a lot of other people out there who are looking for a job mm. and it's difficult to mm. find jobs these days yeah so you are in this position now respect that job Mm. Otherwise, it'll be taken away from you. Mm. But also respect the people you work with. Mm. You know, um, I always tell presenters, especially presenters, be nice to the crew. Mm, absolutely. The crew will switch off your mic if you have a bad <laughs> attitude. <laughs> Instead of showing your face, they'll show your button. <laughs> And you're going on talking, talking, but on screen, what everyone's watching is your button. <laughs> Dalache, they'll do that because you have a bad attitude. You feel like they are useless, so they will be useless for you. So yeah. you go on air and you're talking, but your microphone is off, and they're just watching you. Yeah. And guess what? The audience doesn't know the crew; they know you. Yeah. Who are they going to judge? You. you. Mm. So we are a team. We should all. be held holding each other's hands you know if i drop the ball pick me up mhm at the end of the day you slacking will affect my job yeah me slacking will affect the whole train will be affected mm. so we have to work as a unit as a team there's no superstar here there's no one person it's yeah. all of us yeah. so if fungi sa is doing a really good job on radio mm. guess what everybody behind the scenes gets credit for it yeah it's, that's true it's the christian it's voice team Yes, exactly, cuz it's, it's a team effort. Yeah, it's yeah. not just fungi side. Mm. So that's one thing I always try to instill in in teams when I'm when I'm building. That's how you honor it and that's how you're humble. Mm. If you're not looking at it as an individual thing, it's a unit, it's mm. a team. I love that. I absolutely love that. I have a couple of comments here on our Facebook live from P Kennedy who is watching us from Matero. He says um hello and then we also have Mr. Piri. Precious Zimba who's watching us from Silver Rest and then we have Chupulu who says good morning and then Tamara who says awesome topic learning a lot watching from Livingston. Thank you so much for uh, commenting. Uh Chuma, you are one person who's worked with a lot of talent. Um and you've also helped uplift a lot of people. I know a lot of people that have passed through your hands who've gone to become incredible uh success stories. Really? Yes. Okay. A lot. Okay. A lot. <laughs> I don't know these stories. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. I'm one of them, okay? Hint hint. Uh, so, uh Chuma, a lot of people have passed through your hands. They've learned from you. You've taught so many people so much. What does it mean for you to do that because you are basically giving away they call it nowadays they call it intellectual property, property yeah. yes yeah. <laughs> you know and sometimes I you don't even yeah you don't get the 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 credit for it yeah. how do you how do you handle that how do you deal with it and how do you make peace with uh being able to mentor to deposit into people's lives mm-hmm. and you know maybe they're not doing the same out there you look know? man this is this is god at work um I think when you discover your purpose, when you realize and find out what your purpose is, um you are at peace. Mm-hmm. I think my my purpose, what God has put me here for, and this is why he has given me the microphone and a, a camera. Mhm. It's to teach. That's it. Yeah. To teach. Um whatever knowledge and i think uh, when i sit down sometimes and look at it, it i think this is why i have had to 
experience and live through these things mm. so i can be be able to teach from a point of i have lived it yeah you know so i have peace with it because i am i've been put here to teach and my win whether you say thank you or not is to see you succeed wow that's all i want i don't want you to come back and say dude let me take you for lunch are you sure? Dude, let I me was going to take you for breakfast today. No, you but, have you know. to anyway. <laughs> you have to. It's you. Come on. You have to. But yeah, once you discover your purpose, what God has put you here for, I think you're at peace. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm here to teach. I love that. Yeah. Well, Chuma, thank you so much. Thank you're you for taking the time out of your busy, busy schedule to just talk to us and, you know, help us grow. We are definitely going to have you come back again. This is Alpha Team commencing open fire. What's, what's going on here?